Welcome to this uh, tutorial. Uh, so this is the tutorial about using a uh, mad laser uh, to drive a laser animation uh, laser projector, which is actually controlled through an audio uh, card, which is a Digiface uh, RME Digiface AVB. So the output of the RME uh, Digiface AVB is an Ethernet uh, cable, actually directly uh, connected to the laser uh, projector but uh, you might want to uh, use multiple projector in which case you will use uh, such uh, AVB hub um, you need a network hub compatible with the uh, AVB uh, that will guarantee the bandwidth on each uh, on each connection so you have no surprises um, actually what I need to do to get this setup running is first I need to have the RME uh, installed RME um, uh, drivers and software and I can see here my laser animation accurate and uh, set up the sample rate there is also a laser animation tool called LA toolbox where you can see actually uh, the accurate my laser projector and the sample rate here is 48 48 and it's using stream number one from the RME um, so it's all good and then in manmapper um, I will be able in the preferences laser tab to enable audio laser and to choose an audio device so any audio device with more than five channels will appear here and uh, I can choose here the sample rate and the number of devices okay um, so since I created four uh, laser devices in my preferences here I have the device count uh, first uh, device will use uh, five first cha audio channels so I can see here that um, manmapper is actually writing X and Y to channels 1 and 2 and RGB here um, so if I for instance go to my laser surface and decrease the red level you will see that the channel 3 goes to zero because that's the audio channel used to transmit the red uh, value and so here um, I have put a laser quad surface with a grid so I can uh, actually I made it match my uh, wall in front of me um, and using some uh, mesh warping I, I corrected uh, the, the bounding uh, to, to make it very straight along the, the wall and uh, now I can put various content on it so this is a text actually it's a bit bright um, this is a text uh, layer there is here some animations audio reactive animations that will match the, the beat there is here uh, this is also laser material and um, we have some other beam effects but that's is that are made to work with uh, with fog and atmospheric effect I could also use any kind of content like using a video that would be vectorized in uh, real time um, well that's it so actually I can control um, a laser projector through audio interface so with the uh, laser animation uh, projector uh, which are the only one I know who supports this protocol actually and uh, I could of course uh, make multiple laser projectors and choose uh, the other uh, AVB uh, devices and have multiple uh, laser animation uh, laser projectors control from uh, mad laser and uh, well that's quite uh, interesting to support this protocol directly it opens a lot of possibilities and one of the big advantage i see is that well it's uh, it's not the cheapest uh, device of course but it's quite reliable and uh, it's it can be controlled at high uh, frame rate and um, and uh, it has a very wide uh, projection angle and a good uh, scanner so it's uh, it's an interesting device definitely uh, well hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching bye